Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm bringing you the match preview this week because we're short on manpower with the short turnaround between games. So uh, I'm going to bring you the uh, match preview as well as the starting 11 for Huddersfield Town on Tuesday evening at 7.45. Um, after the disappointment, um, the disappointing exit from the FA Cup against Millwall at the weekend, Everton will be looking to bounce back against Huddersfield in an important, case, uh, important game for Marco Silva with the pressure mounting on the manager from the fans. Uh, undue pressure in uh, in my opinion I don't I think it's much too early for uh, pressure but on the I, I think many fans are, uh, are putting pressure on the manager at the moment so I'm sure he'll be able to ease it with a win even though Huddersfield are bottom of the Premier League they're um the what are they form wise they're pretty poor this season they've got eleven points from twenty three games they've scored thirteen goals in twenty three games and conceded forty so. It's not the best record at all. Um, if Everton can't get past these, then I'm not sure what hope we have. Um, it's not looking too great, but they do have a new manager, Jan Stewart, uh, otherwise known as Martin from Martin from Wakefield, is uh, going to take over for his first game of um, to Huddersfield Town manager on Tuesday night, and of course that means we don't have any uh, idea what team he's going to play, what formation he's going to play. So uh, Marco Silva's expressed his concern about that and kind of said. Um, they're, they're an unknown animal really. Um, I looked into into Jan as a manager because obviously German managers are all the rage at the moment. So um, he hasn't got much in terms of previous career. He's managed Borussia Dortmund's B team and he's done a decent job over there. But his only uh, other real managerial job was in the German fourth tier where he was sacked after the, his club were in the relegation zone. So he's not got major pedigree as a manager. But uh, of course Huddersfield wanted the German manager. So uh, Jan Seward is the one they went for. Um, whether whether he'll change things around remains to be seen, but obviously if he were to change things around, it probably would be against Everton. But hopefully that won't be the case, and uh, Marco Silva's men will be able to turn things around with a result against Huddersfield. In terms of team news, uh, Yerimina obviously came off injured at half time against Millwall, so he probably won't play a part in the game tomorrow. Marco says it was a um, as it was a foot injury. So he probably won't play his part in the game. So I'm expecting Kurt Zuma and Michael Keane to continue at the back. Um, in terms of t- changes, apart from that, I, th- I don't think they're going to be many. To be honest, I think he's he might stick with the same team. If he won't go with Calvert Lewin up front, maybe Richarlison might get another go up front with Bernard and Luckman out wide and, and Gilfie in behind. Obviously, um, Andre Gomez and the uh, the the transfer target for PSG, Idrissa Gay, uh, at the moment has been a lot of talk after a. A uh, twenty one point five million pound bid was confirmed by Marco Silva to have come in from PSG. So um, Gana will probably take his place in the side again though. And um, the defence obviously um, Zuma and Keane will probably be at the back with the with the absence of Yeri Mina, and then it will probably be um, Seamus Coleman and Luca Dean with obviously Pickford in goal. So that's it. Uh, that's the team news in terms of Huddersfield. There's not much to go by as as we said with there being a new manager. It's gonna be. Um, Pretty unpredictable, I think. Um, he's given his press conference today, and he said that Adam Moy, he was a key player for Huddersfield, could come back for this game and could return from injury. But Philip Billing will miss out, so um, that'll probably be a change in midfield. But um, we don't really know at all how they're going to line up in terms of danger men for Huddersfield. There's pretty short on the ground, really. Not to not to be disrespectful, but. They haven't got really anyone scoring a load of goals at the moment. Obviously, they've got Steve Mooney up front. Um, hasn't really set the Prem alight since he's came over. So um, whether he's one to watch or not, we'll see. Probably will be from set pieces because he's, he's quite a big fella. So uh, And we know Everton sure coming from set pieces were highlighted uh, last weekend. So that's where teams will try and break us down, I think, this season for the men- remainder of the season. Unless Marco can turn things around with his approach. But that's probably where Huddersfield will, will go for our weak spot. So uh, we'll have to watch out for that. But yeah, that, um, hopefully we'll be able to overcome them. I don't think they'll be too much of a problem. I think it's it's a good game to go into considering we're uh, a side very low on confidence and that's visible in the games at the moment. It certainly was against Millwall. So hopefully this will be, we said the same against Bournemouth when we won 2-0 there. We thought that was going to be the turning point but obviously it wasn't. Hopefully this is another opportunity to do that um, with a new manager but obviously they're an unknown animal and we don't know what um, what dangers are going to await for Everton at um, Huddersfield on Tuesday night. It's going to be a difficult game um, because we don't know what to expect really, but Huddersfield obviously haven't been in the best form, so that's um, that's pretty much it in terms. 
In terms of score predictions, I'm going to go for a 2-0 win. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a similar game to Bournemouth, where it's going to be quite scrappy, but we'll hopefully come out on top. Um, and then hopefully we'll use that as a turning point rather than uh, what happened last time. So I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the Toffee Blues. Thanks a lot for watching and make sure you join us next time. Stop, 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 stop.